YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage back with more of Trolley Bully's Faction Band 2 tournament. I got another first round match for you. This is going to be VM Acerer versus AVA Granitor. I've seen both these players play before on videos and other channel, and I know that both of them are quite capable. I do believe, as in terms of faction matchup, that Granitor is coming out nicely on this with Rome. We'll see how the battle actually turns out. Now that is interesting. Four Gladiator Spearmen for the Romans, and then it looks like four Avocati, four Legionaries, two Balearics, four Soki Equites. Huh, interesting setup. No Hastati in the army. I would have been pretty keen on bringing some Hastati here, but maybe he was afraid the Hastati wouldn't fare well versus some of the Barbarian Swords. I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have a mix of Chosen Sword Band and Heroic Nobles in the center for the Iceni. Uh, Levy Freeman on the flanks supporting, looks like, four veteran riders. And it looks like there's going to be four uh, Britain Slingers, one Painted Warrior, or Painted One, out front. So yeah, it is a mix of Chosen Swords and Heroic Nobles. I think there's three Heroic Nobles, including the General. If I saw the General right at the beginning, yep, there's the General. So yeah, that's the armies. It's a flat map, which can definitely help the Barbarians get the charges they need to be successful. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Uh, the ranged advantage probably goes to the Iceni. I don't think two Balearic Slingers are capable of pulling down four Britain Slingers, but we'll see. Um, Cost-wise, it's definitely, you get a lot more with the uh, the Britain Slingers. Let's see how this engagement, the, the Iceni player a little bit blobbed up over here, coming in at the Roman. They probably, yeah, they're going to try and spread a little wider. You want to be spread as, you need to be spread wider than the Romans. Okay, here's why Sucky Equites are worth a fortune to the Romans. And um, these guys are great, cheap, heavy melee cavalry. Why is that good? Their attack's not that good here. It's their mass. With that heavy mass, they can do a lot of damage to a unit that would otherwise not get damaged too terribly. Uh, that heavy mass imparts more uh, impact damage, and that's why Soki Equites are preferred by a lot of Roman players instead of Auxiliary Cav, which are a lot more expensive, or Legionary Cav, which is a little bit cheaper, uh, but is a medium cavalry. Avocati, let's see how they're engaged. Avocati here are going to pretty well wreck that Chosen Sword Band. Yeah, they're turning that fight around pretty quickly now. Over here you have an Avocati versus a Heroic Noble and a Legionary Cohort versus the Chosen Sword. The Chosen Sword's already losing. The Heroic Noble General's coming in. I see shots from the Balearics hitting the Britain Slingers. And the Painted Ones out here are actually getting wrecked by a combination of Spearmen and Cavalry, so they're not doing a whole lot. Soki Equites will actually have an easy time bringing down the Veteran Riders again because of the weight class difference. Gladiator Spearmen are low in numbers, but ought to do well statistically versus the Levy Freeman. Come on, stab him. Stab him with the trident. Do it. Do it. Oh, come. Learn how to stab. <laughs> anyway, so let's take a look at the rest of the engagements. A Legionary Cohort. Chosen Sword Band. Yeah, I, I don't know that the Iceni really got all the best charges. I mean, some of their fights are going okay-ish, but others are not. Um, and the Balearic Slingers are not being fired on by the Britain Slingers, and that's also a problem. If these Balearic Slingers survive for very long, they're going to get a lot of kills. This one's already up to 59 kills. So, yeah, I mean, the Balearic Slingers cannot be allowed to live. They will pick off, like, kind of lightly armored medium cav like these veteran riders. They will do very good shooting into the back of infantry. I mean, the Britain Slingers got whaled on um, individually here, and it, they're just they're letting the Balearic Slingers get away with a lot. Let's see where they're targeting. Yeah, they're targeting the, uh, the Britain Slingers here. So the Britain Slingers, I don't think were used effectively. You've got to get rid of Balearic Slingers. You just can't leave them to late game. I think you all have seen too many games on my channel where you end up with an elite Slinger in the late game, and it is just dangerous. Uh, you, you can't do it. It's too risky. And especially when you have a faction like the Iceni, which already suffers an infantry disadvantage versus Rome. Uh, if the Iceni had Oathsworn rather than Heroic Nobles, or if the Heroic Nobles were the equivalent of Oathsworn, they would do better versus the Romans. But it would still be an uphill battle. And the reason is, is because the Romans have a nice solid combination of high armor, high attack, and a high morale, and health. So they pretty much have it all going on. Um, and uh, they have also a good missile block chance. So with all those things combined, it makes the Romans very capable in prolonged melee, even though you can defeat them on the charge. A prolonged melee will just really grind out in favor of the Romans. Look at these Evocati. 64 attack. 
64 attacks. I mean, they're, they're just going to be slicing and dicing enemies over there. Plus, they have the armor to back it up. 90 armor. That's that's like a hoplite unit for most factions. Uh, here comes a rear charge from some gladiator spearmen. Ought to actually be fairly effective. So yeah, the gladiator spearmen are going to get into the back of these chosen swords. That ought to... Uh, yep, that's going to cause some wavering. Chosen swords don't have bad morale, but they don't have fantastic morale. I mean, it's the same as the Roman units, but I, th I think that, well, except for the Evocati. The Roman units, though, again, with the higher armor and attack stats, just tend to be doing better because they don't, they're not typically losing combat decisively like those swords probably were when they got rear charged by the gladiator spearmen. So yeah, this is definitely wrapping up in the favor of uh, Rome. The Britain Slingers are now targeting, like, this legionary or the uh, Roman general. One of the Balearic Slingers is still alive with 112 kills. Uh, it's finally being attacked by the Veteran Rider, so that might be the end of it. Uh, actually, the other Slinger came back, so with, with four Slingers here, this could be a possible comeback. But the Roman General is still sitting back here, and he can easily kill all these Slingers if the uh, Iceni player can't protect them. And those Slingers need to be doing a lot of damage, and they need to be doing it now. This would have been a good target because he had the unshielded side. These Gladiator Spearmen would have been a good target because they have a poor block chance. But now the Gladiator Spearmen are starting to catch some of these. And uh, these Gladiator Spearmen might actually defeat those Chosen Sword Band. And the Roman General has a path to the Slingers. So yeah, any comeback that was probably possible by the Iceni is now going to be squelched. That's just my best guess at this point. Plus you have the Auxiliary Balearic Slingers still alive here and definitely they still have ammo. The Iceni General is trapped here, sandwiched by Evocati Cohort and Legionary. So they are going to get slaughtered. Uh, again, these guys are good on the charge versus these units, but other than that, they are not. They have better melee damage than the Evocati, but the attack on the Evocati is just much higher. So you're going to see the Evocati landing a lot more hits. This is definitely going in the favor of Rome, so uh, this is no doubt going to be a victory for Granitor. Yeah, he's going to move on to the next round for sure. Hope you all enjoyed this one. It was a good game. Uh, GG to both players here. I Iceni versus Rome is a tough match. It really is. Uh, I don't know exactly how all the faction banning works in this tournament, but I mean, to end up with Iceni versus Rome is definitely a tough match. Um, so I think he... You know, he, he did as, he certainly did as well, or probably better than I would have with Rome versus, or Iceni versus Rome, especially if I was playing against, you know, one of the competitive players as well. So, you know, I, I think it was a, you know, a good showing uh, on Asera's part, even though he lost, and I'm sure that he wishes he would have done better there. Uh, again, I think a key was these Slingers. They need to get rid of the Balearic Slingers earlier. The Balearic Slingers, this unit didn't do all that much, but this one, 139 kills, you just can't afford that whenever you're playing as one of the uh, barbarian factions against Rome. Uh, the Silky Equites did a great job. I said there was four of them. There was actually only three. So he did a nice job with them. A lot of spears, which again is interesting, but um, I, he, you know, he did all right with most of the spear units. They weren't that bad. Uh, not a ton of kills on any of his units. It's kind of spread out amongst all of them. Uh, whereas if we look over here, I mean, just the Heroic Nobles were not able to tank up what you need them to do uh, when you're playing as the Iceni. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, I will be back with more matches from the tournament soon. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.